Hi there, everyone. I have a community page, and most people that um, are on YouTube have a community page. And so uh, maybe a little over a month ago, I decided to start using it to kind of interact with you. So most of the um, questions that I've asked have been polls like, what do you prefer? Do you like chocolate cake better or, or white cake? It's kind of a fun little multiple choice uh, questions. But this last time I did a direct question like, what's your favorite dinner? And I'll try to make it. So I did have a few responses. And the one that stuck out to me the most because I was going to make something similar to it is old fashioned meatballs with mashed potatoes and gravy and peas. And so I was planning on doing a Salisbury steak and that's why that stood out to me. And so I am gonna make the other ones as well. But this one is different than a Salisbury steak because a Salisbury steak has mushrooms in the brown gravy and this doesn't. So there, there are variations. So um, I think this recipe is gonna be really good. I've never made old fashioned meatballs. I've made meatballs, but not this type. So um, it looks really delicious. And if you decide you want to have me make something, go ahead and just answer that uh, poll I made, or actually it's just a question. So um, this looks like a really delicious meal, so I'm gonna make it now, and I hope you enjoy this recipe. This is a two-part recipe. You're gonna have your meatballs first, and then you're gonna have a gravy. So for your meatballs, um, you're gonna have to have um, olive oil. You're gonna have about a pound and a half of ground beef, a half of an onion, a quarter cup of bread crumbs, bread crumbs and I'm using plain, I made my own. Uh, you're gonna have one egg, two cloves of garlic, a tablespoon of ketchup and a teaspoon of yellow mustard, one teaspoon of Worcestershire, you're gonna have a half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of pepper, and two teaspoons of fresh parsley parsley freshly chopped. So then after that, we're gonna do our gravy and we're gonna have an onion, we're gonna have uh, beef broth, uh, butter, um, and so other ingredients also. So we're gonna add uh, a beaten egg and I'm gonna beat it before I put it in. And then you're going to put onions, garlic, you're gonna use a half of an onion, um, two cloves of garlic, I have three, and you're going to put um, a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. You're going to do uh, salt and pepper. Um, and I do a little bit of um, garlic powder. It's going to be a teaspoon of Worcestershire, and you're going to have a tablespoon of ketchup and a teaspoon of uh, yellow mustard. And um, breadcrumbs, a quarter cup, one beaten egg, and about two teaspoons. I've got about two and a half teaspoons of fresh parsley, and now we're gonna put our ketchup, our mustard, and our Worcestershire sauce in. And we're gonna mix all of this together. This is for just the meatballs. And um, I think I went over the amount, but I will definitely put that in the um, description under the video also, so you can see the exact measurements. And I'm going to for a change, I'm going to actually use a glove today. I just don't feel like getting my hands all messed up. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna mix everything together just like you were doing a meatloaf. It's pretty much very similar to that. You're just gonna mix everything together here. And this is uh, very similar to making a meatloaf. So we're gonna just blend everything together and then we're gonna make meatballs, like little balls the size, between like an inch and an inch and a half. I got about two dozen of meatballs that I rolled and now um, I'm going to refrigerate them for 15 minutes before we cook them, that way they hold better. So after 15 minutes, you take your meatballs out of the refrigerator. They were probably in there about 20 minutes or maybe a little more. Then you're gonna add a couple tablespoons of olive oil in your pan on medium. And you're gonna take about six meatballs and you're gonna fry them. You don't wanna crowd your pan. You just want five or six meatballs, that's all. And you're gonna cook them a few minutes on each side. And you want them 
a, a little away from each other because you're going to be rolling them over after say two or three minutes and they're going to mostly cook now but they'll finish cooking in the gravy later so you're getting some gristle while the meatballs are cooking and a lot of that gristle is going to be used for the brown gravy so here we have all of our meatballs mainly cooked and they will cook the rest of the way through uh, in the gravy so now we want to add one tablespoon of butter to this uh, all the gristle and the grease that's left over from the hamburger we're going to add a tablespoon of butter to all that grease and gristle from cooking the hamburger and now we're going to add our half of an onion or you can use a whole onion I have three quarters of an onion and what we're going to do is cook these onions 15 minutes until they're not only translucent but a little caramelized so about 15 minutes on these onions this is the size that you want to slice your onions up about half of a ring like when you cut a ring like half of that because that's what's going to give the gravy all the flavor so once you get it to that you put your uh, two cups of beef broth in and um, if you want to use bouillon you can use bouillon too and you put garlic powder onion powder and then you're going to put a quarter cup of water with three tablespoons of cornstarch and now you're going to bring this to a boil and this is what will thicken your gravy so we're going to turn up the heat and stir this and this is going to get our gravy thickened and after that we're going to add our meatballs in So here's our gravy, it's nice and thick now. So this is the time we're going to add the meatballs now. So here's our meatballs. Now what you're going to do, now that you have your meatballs in here, swimming, smothering, you're going to cook them 10 minutes and that should finish cooking the hamburger. Okay, it's ready. This is our old-fashioned meatballs in a brown onion gravy with mashed potatoes, gold Yukon, or Yukon gold potatoes that make the best mashed potatoes with peas. This saying this is delicious is actually an understatement. It's wonderful. So let's give this a try. This looks so yummy. I haven't tasted it, but I just know it's good because I had to taste the the broth and the gravy while I was making it, but I haven't tasted the whole thing yet. I did taste the mashed potatoes earlier, but this gravy is outstanding. So, this was a request by a wonderful woman. I don't know her real name, but her, well, I don't think I should give her name out. She may not want it out, but she was the one that requested that I make this. And I want to thank you for requesting it because it is really good. Really good. Mmm. Unbelievable. Like I said earlier, I've made many meatballs in my life, but I've never made this style in a brown gravy with onions. It is, I, I'm giving myself a 10 today. This is, it really turned out wonderful. So, <clears throat> if you want to try this, I highly recommend it. I hope it turns out wonderful for you, and I'm going to have all the ingredients in the description.